Previously on Yena DIY, I cleaned up my home network with a 6U wall mount rack. And in this video, I'm going to solve some of the problems I created and maybe make a few new ones with this 1U UPS. But first I have to use 3D printing to solve some of the problems 3D printing created in the last video. When I printed the cable pass through it never fit firmly to the wall and kept on moving and falling out when I was working on the rack. So before I can do anything else I need to attach it to the wall properly. Initially I looked at redesigning it completely but I didn't want to pull out the cables or make it in two parts. So I decided to create some brackets that go in the wall that I can screw the cable pass through into. I also printed a small jig to precisely line the holes in the centre of the pass-through. This is a really great use case of 3D printing and I often make small jigs to align parts or make repeated cuts when working on projects. Next I had to make room in my rack for the UPS. Originally I had an extra patch panel filled with blanks so I could run a future fibre line to my office. But I realised I could move the cable from my internet below the router and move everything in the rack up one. This gives me space for my UPS but still leaves room for future expansion. It wasn't easy finding the right UPS as it needed to be one new in height and also short depth for my small rack. I found this one new UPS from Vertiv that just fits in the rack with just enough capacity to run everything for a little over half an hour. The rack did come with rails to support it but unfortunately they were too long for my small rack so for now I'll have to support it with some plywood until I can find a more permanent solution. I didn't install a UPS initially as I've always had bad luck with UPSs. They've always caused more power failures than they've solved. But I got a comment on my last video about installing UPS and since then we've had a few power outages and dips so I've had another think about it. Part of having a reliable UPS is monitoring. So when I was planning out this project that's what was top of my mind. Most UPSs have some form of monitoring available usually via USB or an add-on card. However these add-on cards can be really expensive. To get a network card for this UPS cost up to $500. So I was like yeah nah I'll do it myself. Initially I looked at using the USB port and plugging it into a Raspberry Pi that was running UPS monitoring software called NUT. But no matter what I tried I couldn't get it working. So I ordered the much cheaper relay card. This card gives you five digital outputs to signal various states of the UPS like it's on battery, low battery or fault. To connect this to the network enable things like remote shutdown and alerting I decided to connect all the outputs of this card to an old Raspberry Pi and write my own monitoring software instead. Because if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. I started by designing a custom 3D printed case to fit the Raspberry Pi and power over Ethernet splitter. This is where I learnt my lesson again to always model everything completely before creating a model around it. I didn't model the RCA jack on the Raspberry Pi so I didn't notice the Raspberry Pi wouldn't fit in the case. Fortunately it's easy enough just to remove the jack so it fit perfectly. Then I got a bit carried away and used multicolour 3D printing to add labelling and indicator lights to the front of the case. This way I can easily tell if it's working or are there any issues with the monitoring. I also designed a custom hole pattern on the back of the case to line up with the holes in the cabinet. So I could use plastic push rivets to mount it to the existing holes in the cabinet. Lastly I designed a spot for a Keystone RJ45 adapter so I had a nice way to plug into the network.
this is how it works. The Raspberry Pi is powered by PoE from the switch that's connected to the UPS, so it keeps running even when there's no power. And the GPIO pins are connected to the relay terminals on the UPS. I've also added a seventh input to the Pi that's looped through the common terminals on the relay card, so if the UPS is unplugged or the Pi is disconnected in some way, an alert is generated. Additionally, the Pi hosts a web page where you can get a quick overview of the UPS status. The Raspberry Pi monitors the inputs, and if there's any power failure, low battery, UPS fault, it creates a webhook to Home Assistant to instantly trigger automations and alerts. Finally, it also has an API that can be connected to Home Assistant or any automation software to alert you or shut down your computers. Because the data from the UPS is limited, there's no way to know how much power is being used or how much battery remains. But I did add a function to time how long the UPS has been running, so at least you can estimate how much power is remaining. And as with all my projects, the code and 3D files will be available for free on my website, link in the video description. Despite the limitations, it works really well and it's something I'm going to keep working on in the future. I hope you enjoyed the follow-up video, and if you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.